Are you good something else? Karazis? I am. Can we have a small talk about running? I have some questions. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's sit here. Oh. So you keep, keep uh, coming back in Greece uh, for ye five years now, and uh, I was wondering if it is only for promo purposes or uh, you, you find the opportunity to visit uh, the country of your parents? Both. Mm. Every time I come, it's a little, it's a, it's a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. I enjoy both. You have a very busy schedule while being here. Do you find personal time for yourself? And what do you do during that time? I, I don't know. You run, of course, but are there any other um, things you do that you like here in Greece? I like the food. <laughs> <laughs> um, my schedule, I did not want my schedule to be so busy, but every time I come to Greece, uh, I get more and more appointments. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I should accommodate everyone. But when I have free time, uh, I go and run by myself mm -hmm. because uh, I can see better and think in my head better when I'm running by myself. Yes. What are you most uh, thinking while running? What's your favorite thought? I like to look at Greece. The, it's, for someone coming in from the outside, Greece is incredibly beautiful. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the Greeks, because you live here, you, you do not see this beauty. You when I come not, here, yeah. I see amazing things. So I like to run. No music. Yes. No, I just pay attention. Mm. Mm -hmm. How difficult it was for you to write this particular uh, book, Road to Sparta, because it has a lot of historical <coughs> elements inside. How, how did mm. you do your uh, research? This was, this was my most difficult book to write because of the research. Mm -hmm. So I worked with one of the foremost authorities on ancient Greek culture, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Paul Cartledge from Cambridge University. Mm -hmm. And he helped guide me. He's a, uh, a professor of ancient Greek history. He helped guide me through the process. I, I used a lot of the ancient references from Herodotus and Plutarch and used those to piece together a story mm -hmm. through the eyes of a runner. What was uh, the most difficult, running the race or writing the book? <laughs> writing the book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, how long uh, it took you to finish the book? The it, whole the it, whole process. The whole process is about three years. Mm -hmm. uh, writing a book is very much like ultra running. Well, um, that was my next question. Yeah, yes. it's it's, uh, it's I would say it's one one percent inspiration. 99% uh, perspiration, mm -hmm. so it's it's a lot of hard work and it takes a long time to reach the finish line. Both uh, writing ultras uh, though and writing books are um, lonely uh, situations. You, you are alone with yourself. Do you prefer working that way or you also have a team? How, how does it work exactly? By nature, I'm what they call an introvert. So. I am comfortable being by myself. I actually enjoy being by myself. I like the process of writing uh, by myself. I, I don't like uh, collaborating too much with others. Um, so uh, spending a lot of time in my own head with my thoughts in my computer, mm -hmm. uh, I like it. It's very rewarding to me. Many ultra runners refer to the difficulty of the race as the monster. Mm -hmm. Have you faced the monster? They say things uh, like that. And do you really like being in that situation, in that difficulty? Why are you keep uh, searching for that feeling? Why you, you run a lot? Mm -hmm. There is a moment inside every race that is very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, for a lot of people, it's difficult to understand. Mm -hmm. Why do you keep searching that uh, feeling? Uh, suffering, suffering brings you closer to God. Mm -hmm. uh, you see with more clear eyes. Uh, you have more honest thoughts. Uh, through suffering, um, you learn about yourself. It's some of my deepest understandings of who I am. Know thyself. How do you know thyself? You push yourself to uncomfortable positions, mm -hmm. and that's how you learn and grow. If uh, your life was uh, a song, which one would it be? <laughs> and if, if that song doesn't exist, is there anyone you'd like to write it? I think Zorba the Greek is the perfect <laughs> song. <laughs>
Mm. Okay, will you run Spartathlon again? Yes, nay, nay. The Spartathlon, uh, my first experience was very difficult. Mm -hmm. I had a, a, a not a good race at all. I had to struggle to reach the finish line. Um, I think I would like to come back and focus on the competitive element and really run the best race to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. But the first race, it was so challenging. But in looking back, I'm, I'm glad I had a difficult race. Uh, an easy race that does not make a good story. Yes. I think that when you have an easy race, it's just a race report. When you have a difficult race, uh, it is more complex. The emotions are deeper. Mm -hmm. uh, the feelings are more intense. So I'm glad I struggled during this part half long. It's important to have a good story. I mean, through the, the difficulty, the story is uh, much more attractive, of course. Uh, which compliment that you have received as a runner or, the, or as a writer is the one that you you have as a um, personal, uh, the more significant for you? <laughs> which one? It, it's, it's difficult to describe my life because I did not plan my life to be this way. But I have um, over a thousand letters and emails mm -hmm. and, and the first sentence is uh, you changed my life. Thank you. I cry every time I read this. I, can you imagine I changed someone's life? I don't. I do not know how. But people tell me uh, they they had problems with alcohol. They had problems with weight. They smoke. They and they read my books, and they become a runner. Mm -hmm. You changed my life. <laughs> that's, that, that's worth to me. You couldn't give me a million dollars. It's it's worth so much more to hear that from someone. And it makes me feel so fulfilled uh, in what I do. Mm. And what was the, the 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 turning point? Because changing someone's life, um, you started changing your life in the beginning. I Perhaps think that's the way you changed someone's life, changing yours first. You ch this is very you're Greek. It's, uh, <laughs> I think that. Um, by our nature, we we are thinkers, mm -hmm. and we we uh, inspect. We inspect thoughts, and this is how you do this. You change your life first, and how do you change your life? Um, usually, people say change takes time, right? Change, oh, change happens in an instant. You want to change for a long time, but all of a sudden there is this inflection point, and you change. Uh, you may be a smoker. You try, you want to stop, you want to stop, but a day will come when something happens and you say, no more, and you stop. And that's how change happens. And it may happen by reading a book. <laughs> very a very inspiring <laughs> book. Okay, mm. let's go for a run. That'd the be best thing yeah, to end the, the interview. Nah, yes, nah. okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, we run. Yeah.